Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I will be showing you how to download and install LaTeX. Okay, so to do this, you're going to want to open a Google Chrome tab and then go to this URL, miktex.org, so M-I-K-T-E-X dot O-R-G, and go to download. The browser should pick up your operating system and automatically give you the correct option for downloading. I'm just going to download that and then in this case, I'm going to save it to downloads exe installer and I'm just going to show it in the folder I'm going to wait for it to continue downloading this might take a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed so now that our download has been completed I'm just going to close the tab and I'm just going to double click on the .exe file and then click on run okay and we're just going to accept the copyright conditions from MicTech. click on next click on next click on next click on next start and then I'm going to wait for the files to be transferred to my system files this might take a couple of minutes finally going to cl click on next then we're going to go and check for updates it should do that automatically and then press close so it's going to send us to a thank you page where you can make a donation and all of that fancy stuff Okay, I'm just going to leave that page, close that file explorer window. So once MicTech has been installed, it will automatically launch a console window and look for updates. So all you got to do now is to say update now and wait for that to complete. And that might take actually quite a bit of time. So just be patient. And I'm just going to be fast forwarding this video up to the point that the installation has been completed. Okay, so this has been completed and now all you got to say is okay and it will close the console. So there are many ways in which you can then use MicTech or LaTeX to build PDF files and one of the ways that I would like to illustrate is just to have a test the document here available for us on the desktop. But the main way that we're going to be using it is within the IPython kernel on the Jupyter Notebook where we're going to read and write to these .tex, .tex files, text files and to make them do beautiful PDF output printed PDF files. Just as illustration purposes, I have a little test.tx file on the desktop, which I'm going to open. I'm just going to double click that and it will open in the LaTeX MicTech editor. And I'm not going to explain much of this code over here <clears throat> right now. We, we might reserve this for a later tutorial, but I'm just going to compile that as PDF LaTeX to show you that it puts up this beautiful PDF document. And there we go. And that is it and basically the title of the document is document by lambda that's today's date and it just says this text file lives in the current directory of python jupyter notebook yeah another thing that you might want to do is to check that pdf latex actually works or operates correctly running that in the command prompt run pdf latex in the command to check that it actually functions properly and it just says this is pdf tech version 3 point blah 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 blah, blah. and then it just says a whole string of some gibberish that I can't really understand. So that just uh, goes to illustrate that PDF LaTeX is installed on our system that we might use later within the Python tutorial.